everybody. Um, welcome. Uh, I'm going to start doing reviews now of um, a lot of my friends are artists and poets, uh, musicians. And uh, one thing I did want to start covering was uh, my friends that do like writings. They have books and stuff. Um, if you go to my website, you'll see a lot of Amazon links and stuff. And uh, one of the things I try to put in there are links to uh, friends of mine's works. Uh, it's been kind of cool. I don't know if they've made, <laughs> made any sales or not. But um, I thought, you know, a good way to help promote and kind of keep things going was um, to, to do that. Put those links on the website and um, kind of promote their books and stuff. Um, recently, I uh, picked up a book, uh, Cindy Rini. has this one on Amazon. Uh, really good. It's a smaller book, uh, Spiders with Wings. Um, I don't know if, you, if you've ever heard her read. Um, she reads a lot in the local area. If you get a chance and she's reading somewhere... Just go check her out. Um, some great writings. Uh, good time to sit and just really um, to hear it. To read it is 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 cool, but to hear hear her, it's you know it just puts it like okay, that's how it's supposed to sound in my mind when I read these. I put my own you know um, twist on it and how I how I, I interpret it. And that's kind of one thing I do like about her reading or her, uh, her writings is um, it really is. And if you look at the the writing, they're they're really short. You know, there's a few long ones in there. But just the wording and everything, it's just to take a, a minute or two, even 30 seconds, just to read one or two of these uh, throughout your day is actually, um, it's a good way to distract yourself from everything going on and just kind of, you know, um, put your mind in a different place. And that's what I like about her, her writing specifically. It's just, there's some randomness in there sometimes where, is it random? Is it meant to be, you know, something a little more deep that I'm not deep enough to understand? But it's 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 inspiring because it really does um, change how you think about certain things in the mere middle of your busy day, especially you know it's kind of um, I don't read a lot of books, but I do read a lot of my friends' writings because it's just kind of the they take time to come to my art shows and look at my art, you know. In, in turn, I, I take time to read their books and and it kind of gives you a more understanding of who they are as a person as well, you know. To find out that your friend has has these skills, it be it painting or music or or writing that it's like oh wow there's this whole different side to this person that you didn't know or you kind of think is there and you can kind of see like oh this is this is where all that comes from um makes that person unique um also behind me you'll see a lot of smaller art pieces i do collect a lot of small artwork from friends and and places when i go to art shows and stuff because i can't afford the big expensive pieces but you know the smaller ones and, and sometimes when you buy the smaller work it really um that's where the art, or a lot of the artists put the small stuff, the prints and, and the smaller works out there because that's where they make their money from. That's how they keep things going. It's expensive to, to make art and a lot of people don't understand that. It, you know, you go to Michael's or somewhere and of course you see the cheap stuff for, you know, a couple bucks and, oh, well, you know, I'm just painting and it's no big deal. But it really, like some of these pieces take a lot of hours and time. So also too, when you're buying artwork, that's kind of what you have to look at too is it's the time and the thought that went into even making it. You know, that's not just like, oh, I just painted this. You know, some of my paintings are because they're studies. I'm just trying to practice stuff. Um, but I know some of these guys behind me, like, that's what they do. And, and they're really great at it. Um, Kasim Patton just picked up one of his late, late, uh, recently. A photographer. Um, you might have seen him at the Pomona um, Farmer's Market during Art Walk a few times. But mainly, mainly you're going to see him out in um, Venice out there if you're out in venice most likely he's out there and he actually lives out here in rancho but he's out there daily and he, he sells his um his photography and he mounted on on boards and different assemblages that just makes it just really cool and if you go to um i'll put the link below but his uh, instagram it's just amazing some of the photography that he has so if you're a fan of like any kind of urban photography and stuff like that you want to check him out um of course then behind you got joe dead and alex torres and some Vince Landreth, Karen Carlson, my daughter, and uh, Katie Blaine. And what I'm going to do is, um, as I get more settled into the lab here, I'm going to actually get the other walls, all my artwork kind of put back up here. And um, I'll start featuring, doing reviews of some of their latest artworks that I buy and purchase. Um, Cindy, come out, has, I think she just came out with another book too I'm about to purchase. So I'll actually more go in depth in the next book and kind of maybe do a reading or have her come in and read. That'd be kind of neat. And then um, I have other friends who have um, stuff available online as well. John Brantingham, Jim Lujan had a book out there I've seen that I want to want to review. And um, yeah, 
So um, I'll put the link below for this book. It's like 12 bucks, and it's really good. Like I said, it's, it's, I keep it in my backpack. <laughs> the past week I've had it in my backpack. And it's been kind of cool to just kind of pull out and like just take that break and read. Because looking at your phone, you know, it gets... I have to take a break from my phone, and I'm on it constantly. So reading these books has really um, helped me with that. So, um, and any uh, updates that I have, I'm going to start posting in these uh, weekly uh, reviews as well. So as we move forward with the Earns Lab project, you know, I'll put these uh, updates in there. Like, you know, um, upcoming next uh, April 2nd, I'll be at Heirloom Claremont for their grand reopening. A uh, really great store. They sell a lot of stuff um, that I'm into. And the artist on display is going to be Chris O'Mahony. Uh, you might re remember him from Loft Beats. He was the one doing all the big installations in the skylight there. And his work is just phenomenal. And he does um, small printing work as well, ink work. That I thought was just really fantastic. So, um, And in the next, uh, when I do a review of that, I'll actually take some videos and pictures of the place. And go in more depth about Chris O'Mahony because he's it's pretty uh, fantastic story behind him and his art. And then, um, so yeah, so go ahead and pick up the Spider with Wings on Amazon. Uh, Kasim, you can see him on. Um, go to my Facebook I'll, or Instagram. I'll put a link in the comments. And thank you.